All the Colors We Are, the story of how we get our skin color, by Katie Kissinger, with photography by Chris Bonhoff. This book is dedicated with love to my daughters, Mandy and Laura, and to my parents, Mary and Larry Kissinger. People have many different colors of skin. Even though we often say the words, he is black or she is white, all of us have skin that is a different shade of brown. What color is your skin? What name would you like to give the color of your skin? How do you think we get our own special color of skin? Can you make a guess? We get our skin color in three different ways. From our parents and from our relatives who lived long ago, called ancestors. From the sun and from something called melanin. Melanin is tiny grains of coloring in our skin. We can't see the tiny melanin grains, but we all have melanin in our skin. If you have dark skin, the melanin in your body is very active. If you have light skin, the melanin in your body is not very active. Freckles are spots on the skin that have a lot of melanin. No matter what color we are, our skin gets darker in the sun. The more we are in the sun, the darker our skin will get. Melanin's most important job is to protect our skin from sunburn. How does that happen? When we go outside, the sunshine and the air cause the melanin in our skin to get busy and keep our skin from burning. If we go out into the sun a little bit at a time, we will build enough melanin to protect our skin. If your ancestors from a long time ago lived in a place where there was a lot of sunshine and heat, they probably had dark skin. If they lived in a place with less sun and heat, they probably had light skin. When both parents have light skin, they usually have children with light skin. When both parents have dark skin, they usually have children with dark skin. When one parent has light skin and one parent has dark skin, their children's skin may be light, dark, or in between. The skin color we are born with comes from our parents and from our ancestors and where they lived a long time ago. Do you think your ancestors came from a very warm, sunny place or from a cool place with less sunshine? Dark skin, light skin, and skin with freckles are all caused by our parents and ancestors, the sun, and melanin. Skin color is one of the many ways people are special and different from each other. A note to parents and teachers. This book is about the scientific process that gives us all our skin color. It is also about changing the way children learn about skin color. Many times, the information children receive about skin color is loaded with a country's history of prejudice. There are many myths and stereotypes embedded in the messages children receive about differences in skin color. It is critical to give children the sing simple scientific truth about skin color. The only reason we have different skin tones is to protect us from the sun's harmful rays. Melanin is the pigment that gives us skin color, and all of us have melanin in our bodies. Undoing the myths about skin color. All of us have skin that is a shade of brown. Asian people do not have yellow skin. Their skin is a shade of brown because it contains melanin. White people are not really white. Their skin also contains melanin. Black people are not really black. Their skin contains melanin to create a shade of brown. American Indians do not have red skin. It is a shade of brown because it contains melanin. Some people with very light brown skin turn pink when they get too much sun, but the only way a person can have red skin is to paint it red. Scientific notes about color. All living things have color. Plants, animals, and people. Pigment makes color. Melanin is a pigment that forms the shades of brown. When you cut open a raw potato or an apple and let it stand out for a while, it will turn brown. This color change is caused by melanin. A zebra's stripes, a leopard's spots, and a frog's, speckles, a frog's speckles are all caused by melanin. In addition to their skin, people have melanin pigments in their eyes and hair, too. Carotene is a pigment that forms the color orange, as in pumpkins and carrots. Chlorophyll is a pigment that forms the color green. 
grass, asparagus, spinach, and lettuce all have chlorophyll pigment. Hemoglobin is a pigment that forms the color red. Hemoglobin is how our blood gets its color. Xanthophyll is a pigment that forms the color yellow. Many flowers contain xanthophyll pigment, as do the leaves that turn yellow in the fall. And if you buy the book, you will see a wide range of activities to do with the contents of this book. But that was All the Colors We Are, the story of how we get our skin color by Katie Kissinger with photography by Chris Bonhoff. And this is EDU Kidspace. Subscribe for more books, stories, and lessons. And if there's something in particular you'd like to learn about, leave us a message in the comments.